What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Jim Leader Geo, and this is week 10 of season four of the GBA. We're going up against the Cincinnati Loudreds and their coach, Mulvone. Now, this guy has got an awesome record. This guy's, uh, I think, just one loss this entire season. He's been really putting in work with a lot of his major threats. Um, we actually started this battle already, and uh, he brought a level 100. So we got to, uh, we got to start this over. I'm going to hit accept. And uh, we have to start the exact same way we did. So I'll just go over what my thought process was. Looking at this team, he's got these two as potential leads here because we've got like a spikes or rock setter. We got a potential rock setter. He might want to get the toxic orb up here early. And we got a potential volt switcher here. So I thought about all that and I led with dollar bills. And uh, he predicted that pretty well and led with the Chaldea, which was level 100 last time we played. And uh, <laughs> works this time. <laughs> Uh, okay, so he went for the Hydra Pump last time, and uh, we have to do the same moves, and I'm pretty sure I went for the Parish Song. Uh, so here we go, he goes for the Hydro, and this time it does 61% as I go for the Parish. Um, now, uh, the goal here is to protect until he, hopefully until he can't kill me, but given that that was 61%, I'm thinking that's a timid specs, or maybe it's a modest specs. If it's a modest specs, yeah, it can do up to 68%. So, um, I gotta go for a protect here. Uh, knowing that he's locked into that. And, uh, unfortunately, 52%, if he's modest, which I think he might be, um, will probably, he's, yeah, he's, like, guaranteed to still kill me. So I could go for the protect again here. I could really risk it. I mean, Keldeo is a huge problem, and no one on my team wants to take a choice specs Hydro in the rain. No one. Uh, so I could go for the second Protect. That'll get me an additional bit of health back if it lands. If it doesn't, then uh, best that I got is that Keldeo will be switching out. We can go for the second Protect here. We're hoping for a 30% chance that this lands. And it failed. He goes to the Hydro and takes me out. He doesn't miss it. I don't get the, uh, that's all right. He's going to perish next turn. So what that means is I could come in with GLaDOS and set up a Dragon Dance. Uh, hopefully outspeeding that Mega Manectric. <sighs> could also go into Uncle Buck and, uh... Start going, popping off earthquakes or something. I mean, he's clearly going to switch. He could switch into the fortress. Let's go into two chains instead. And uh, I could set up rocks, but I don't really need to anymore. I don't think the Keldeo is staying in. Because he'll die if he does. So I'm going to go for the U-turn as he switches or loses Keldeo. Now, if he's fearing the Psychic, he will switch into the Weavile, and I'll hit it super effective with the, uh, with the U-turn. And if he's not fearing that, then he'll stay in, pop off another Hydro, which could kill me, in all fairness, but then his Keldeo will go down. And I'm okay with that, because Keldeo is the biggest threat on this team right now. Um, I've developed this team in order to... He is going to switch out into the Weavile, and he's going to get U-turned for half his health. Now... Remix can come in, and I'm Scarfed, so I'll see the Weavile set, and I'll be able to uh, react accordingly. Uh, if he has Low Kick, that'll do a hefty amount. Knock Off probably won't kill. We can sort of see what to do here. Um, another option is GLaDOS. Let's go into the Remix here. So we're going to transform and we're going to see what this guy is packing. Well, it's not really showing me what his stats will be. He's showing me what my stats are. So that's unfortunate. But he's got Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, Swords Dance, and Knock Off. So he doesn't have the fighting type move. And uh, Knock Off probably won't kill. It probably will not kill him. 
but I have more HP than him. Let's go for the knockoff here. He's going to switch into Fortress. Takes the knockoff. Uh, item is knocked off. Um, now, things we know. We could switch into Uncle Buck here. And uh, start popping off some things. I've got Fire Punch on the Bunny Sore. Psychic on the Two Chains. He's gonna get rocks up here, and that's okay. I don't really fear them that much. Might as well get Uncle Buck Mega Evolved, but at this point, he's not gonna be outspeeding anything. Uh, GLaDOS could come in and start Dragon Dancing, and Volt Switch actually won't do all that much to GLaDOS. Keldeo Resolute might come in. Let's go into GLaDOS here. As he opts to go for, he's gonna double out into Keldeo Resolute. And uh, I think I just have to bounce here. The Manectric will come in, but then we can sort of play a two game where we go into Uncle Buck and then into uh, Bunny Soar. But, yeah, I think I have to bounce here. That was a good double on his part. I don't think he predicted the GLaDOS. He's going to go for the Scald, trying to burn me. He gets the burn. That's super unfortunate, but uh, I didn't really have a choice. He's going to stay in now that I'm burned. It's not going to take him out. Uh, I get the Para here, though. That's a really, really good thing for me. Um, now, I'm actually going to predict the Manectric to come in. I'm going to predict the Manectric to come in. He could pop, try and pop off another Scald to try and take me out. Uh, but I think he'll fear... Because, I mean, Bounce goes up, but Earthquake might do something. I could go for the Dragon Dance here. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to go for the Earth... Well, if I go Dragon Dance, will I outspeed? I'm 103 speed. And a... He'll have to switch first turn into the Manectric. And then the second turn, he will be normal Manectric speed. So after one Dragon Dance, I will outspeed, but I think I'd rather get two Earthquakes off. So I'm going to go for Earthquake here. I get a crit, but he actually stays in goes for the Scald again. Um, Caldeo will probably go down here. I think he was predicting Scald, he'd get, be able to switch next turn or something. Um, the question is whether or not I will kill with a Waterfall, because I think he's going to switch into Gliscor here. So we're going to go for the Waterfall here, predicting either the Gliscor. I mean, the Keldeo is not that useful anymore, to be honest. He might just sack it. I couldn't have gone for the, uh, I couldn't have gone for the Bounce there. So he is going to sack the Keldeo. I'm going to get a little more damage here. The Manectric now can come in, unfortunately, get his Mega Evolution off. There he is. And he could go for the Volt Switch. I'll switch first and get his Lightning Rod ability. And uh, he could go for, I mean, he could go for anything here, but I think I'd rather just go into the, go into the remix here, become a regular Caldeo as he goes for the... Volt switch, and uh, I get an attack boost, which is cool. So he's got a hidden power. I'm assuming it's grass. He's got volt switch, thunder, because he was predicting the rain, and flamethrower here. This is... Ah, I forgot to change mine. Shoot. I kind of rushed myself a little bit here, but that's okay. Um, I can go for a volt switch on him. He could switch to use his hidden power ice or something, but... Um, Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a... Because Flamethrower is not going to do all that much to him. Because I'm just a regular Manectric, and he's a Mega Manectric. I will outspeed because of the Scarf. If he stays in, there's no way he's going for another Electric Attack. That just is not going to happen. So let's Volt Switch here. He's going to switch out himself into Gliscor. That was a good move on his part, and now I'm forced to switch also. He gets the, he gets the Toxic off. I'm switching to GLaDOS, because uh, he's pretty much useless here. He might double, but I can't risk him going for the Earthquake here. I mean, I know the double is obvious. He's going to force out Remix. Uh, he could go right back into Manectric here. He could go for a knockoff. Uh, he could go for Rocks if he has them. 
Yeah, unfortunately, I just I can't stay here. Risk losing like a lot of health on this remix. Uh, he does opt to stay in. It looks like. Yeah, he's gonna go for the toxic. Interesting. Uh, he'll probably outspeed me because I'm not speed invested. I'm predicting an attack here. See, I don't think he even a burned one. He doesn't want to take a waterfall. He might go for the protect to try and get a little chip damage. Um, in which case, I could switch into two chains. Get up my own Stealth Rocks or Ice Beam where you turn on him. So let's do that. Let's go into two chains now. As he goes for the knockoff shoot. I didn't predict he would do that. Now, Ice Beam won't do a lot to a lot of these guys. But now I can actually go for Stealth Rock first. I'm going to go for the rocks. He's going to go for Toxic of his own. Uh, now I'm, he's probably going to... Gee, I could have gone for Ice Beam there. He's going to switch into Fortress. And Fortress is going to take an Ice Beam, which is resisted. He's going to try and Rapid Spin those away, I think. I'm going to go for the Psychic here. He doesn't kill him. You can go for the rapid spin. Uh, I'm gonna go for the U-turn here. It won't kill him, but I think he's just gonna go for the rapid spin again. So let's see. No, it does kill him. It takes him out. And now I can go into Bunny Soar. He'll inevitably bring in the Weavile, not predicting that I will outspeed him. Yes, this is good. I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with the surprise factor. He's gonna bring in Weavile. I'm at full health. And we're going to go for, we could go for an Outrage. The Manectric I don't think can kill me. I can get two Outrages off at minimum. Outrage takes out the Weavile. He did not see the Choice Scarf Bunny Sword coming. Yes! Yes, baby! No kills for Weavile today. None for Weavile today. Oh man, I get so happy. I get so happy, man. Um, but I am in a bad spot. Truth be told, I'm in quite a bad spot. There's probably Hidden Power Grass on that Manectric. And if that's the case, there's not a lot Manectric can do to Bunny Soar. If you go into the Gliscor, take one Outrage for sure. Um, and I gotta get out of here because he'll probably knock me off or something. But things are looking okay. With Weavile down, he's in a he's in a corner here. He's in a corner. I don't have rain. But he's lost two of his most potent sweepers. Gastrodon's gonna come in. He can definitely eat up this outrage. Um, yeah, he ate that up really well. I get the two turn. He's gonna go for the ice beam, which does a hefty amount to me. Now, I gotta switch here. Obviously. Um, and one thing I can do is go out into Remix, who will probably take everything this Gastrodon has relatively well, as the Gastrodon does also. The unfortunate thing would be if he packs Hidden Power Grass. Now, GLaDOS. There's not much about GLaDOS that I'm super worried about. I could go into two chains also, potentially take an attack, and then either get my Stealth Rocks up as a last ditch attempt, or go for a U-turn into something more safe. Going to two chains here and predict what he goes for. He's gonna go for the ice beam again. Uh, Toxic will not take me out. Yeah, not gonna take me out. My dying move could be stealth rocks here. Let's go for the stealth rocks. They're gonna stay up for the rest of the match at this point. Gastrodon's not gonna outspeed the two chains. Uh, and I'll go down to Toxic here. I got a lot of really weak Pokemon, so obviously I'm nowhere near out of the woods yet. Not even close. Um, you know, it's probably a mistake. I probably would be better off going for Psychic here. But I want that chip because, um, yeah, I'm gonna go down now to the Gastrodon. I can go into Remix here, scout to see if he has the hidden power. Uh, recover, Earth Power, Ice Beam, and Scald. 
Now, he's going to win this war because he can recover and I can't, because I'm Choice Scarf. But I can hope for the burn. So let's hope for it. Let's hope for the burn here. I get it first turn as he goes for the recover. Now, he'll probably go for the Scald too. Um... Which Bunny Sword will eat up. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to really. I don't. Outrage will two shot him. But I'm only doing 24% with that. Um, Uncle Buck. I kind of need his Earthquake, even though that hidden power is probably Grass. I could sack GLaDOS here. The Gliscor is going to be... There's a lot of problems here. Uh, Uncle Buck can kind of take care of the Gliscor. But this guy needs to die, and uh, scalding him to death is not going to happen. Uh, he can spam recovers. He can try and get burns of his own. He can come into GLaDOS and get an Earthquake off, and then Bunny Sword can come in and try and clean up. I think that might be the best move here. Uh, as he goes for the Scald, which does not take me out, but the Burn will, I think. 12%? Uh, yeah. Burn's going to take out GLaDOS. And at 82%, I think two Outrages will do the trick. Actually, you know what? Because what can Swampert do? Swampert's Earthquake does 50% also. He could get the Burn, though, and I, I don't think I can risk that. But he's not going to go for... Well, if he goes for Scald and gets the burn, then I can't kill with Swampert. But the same is true with Bunny Sword, and Bunny Sword can come in after, and I think... I think the better move here is to go into Bunny Sword and Outrage twice. So let's do that. Uh, he might go for the Scald, trying to net the burn. He might switch out here, trying to preserve Gastrodon. The thing is that I... yeah. He's going to switch out here into Mega Manectric, get that attack drop off. Um, even with the attack drop, though, Outrage is doing a massive amount. And uh, I don't predict he's timid, but I actually I think I built this guy to outspeed... No, I did be build him to outspeed Manectric. So I can Outrage again, and I'm pretty sure it'll kill. He's going to go for the Thunder and he misses it. Uh, Manectric's going to go down here. Now Gliscor is going to come in. Um, I actually have to do, go for one more Outrage. He's going to take that really well. Go for the knockoff, I'm assuming. He's going to go for the Earthquake. Now with Gliscor here, I can switch into Remix. And become him as he goes for the Earthquake again. Now, uh, I can go for the knockoff on him, it won't do much. He can't go for the toxic on me, he can go for the knockoff on me and get rid of my scarf, but I actually want that. So let's go for the knockoff here. Uh, I'm gonna knock off Gastrodon and he's going to lose. Item cannot be knocked off. Wow. Not bad. He's gonna go for the recover here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I could go into Bunny Soar or Uncle Buck as he goes to the cover, but I don't. Then I'm worried that I won't get the two-hit KO and he gets a free Scald attempt off on me. It depends what he does here, but I think he's going to recover, and I think Bunny Soar is my best switch. So let's go Bunny Soar here. He goes for the Ice Beam, predicting the switch. Good play on his part, but now... Uh, oh, it's Sticky Hold, that's why. I, he's not Storm Drain, he's Sticky Hold. But Uncle Buck can come in now. He could predict the Earthquake. But here's the thing. It doesn't matter if he switches into Gliscor, because I can just Ice Punch the Gliscor. And an Ice Punch on Gliscor is 77 to 80%, and he's only at 80-something. So uh, I'm pretty sure I'm good to go for an Earthquake here, even if he predicts it and goes for the Switch. He's going to stay in. He doesn't die to it. He gets the Scald. Please don't burn. Oh my god, I needed that not to burn. I needed that so badly. Now, here's the thing. He will outspeed with Gliscor. 
but I don't know what he's got for me. And I think, yeah, he's gonna go for the, yeah, he's gonna go for the protect to try and get a little more health back. But if this can kill, he goes for the earthquake. I go for the ice punch and it picks him up. And I beat the, oh my god, baby! Call that a wild card, baby! It did not get it. It did not get me a point in the uh, in the. Huh. It did not get me into the playoffs, guys. It did not get me into the playoffs. But I end the season five and five. I am happy with that. Oh my god, that was a great, great battle by Mulvone there. Incredible. He made some really good switches, but I think I just caught him off guard with the sheer nature of some of these sets. I'm so happy with how that turned out. That was an incredible match. Oh, I'm so glad. You know what? Because my biggest fear, as you guys met, heard me mention in the um, in the locker room, was that he was just going to go hyper offense. Because like I mentioned in the locker room, his hyper offense team is faster than mine and does just as much damage. And he just outspeeds everything and kills everything. So I'm, I had to work around a lot of the things here, but man, that was such a good battle, Mulvone. A 1-0 victory, 2-0 victory for the Giantes, and we end the season 5-5, five and five, guys. I hope you enjoyed this battle and uh, and everything you've seen <laughs> the, this past season. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I didn't get the wild card spot, but I'm telling you guys, I'm the wild card. I'm a giant killer, uh, <laughs> except against Miguel. Can't do it against Miguel, but that was just a that was just a really great battle. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely go check out Mulvone. Get out of your phone. Uh, <laughs> Uh, please go check out Mulvone if you guys haven't already. He is uh, one of the best battlers in this league. He has got an incredible record. We're going to be seeing him in the playoffs. Keep an eye out for him, guys. He is power. Uh, if you have, if you guys are interested, check out the GBA official Twitter, the official website, and the official YouTube page. All of those links are in the uh, comment se annotation section down below. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.